Hey, it's Stoner. Uh, it's Sunday, and I almost didn't make a video today. I haven't been feeling too good today. Uh, I don't know what it is. Hard telling. Um, but I wasn't going to do one. And I just texted Don, the old goat, and told him I wasn't going to do one. And he gave me a couple words of, of uh, inspiration, as it were. Um, so, whether I'm feeling like crap or not. <laughs> um, and I, I, I know what he means, you know, so. Um, but I, I did go to uh, Rizzo's this morning. I didn't get a lot. Um, it's not his fault, but it's getting to be some really slim pickings, so. Um, hey, it is what it is, you know, so. I'll show you what I got. I got some, some nice stuff, you know, nothing, nothing outstanding like I got uh, yesterday, but. No, oh, wait. Yeah. Speaking of yesterday, I'll tell you what, man. What these CDs here? Okay. I haven't listened to the budget yet. I plan on doing that, but watch the DVD for this for the White Snake. Holy moly! Cloverdale, you know he's. He amazed, amazed the hell out. I gave up on him pretty much for a while. But this concert, holy shit, man. And the sound on this is incredible. Incredible. Good concert. And like I say, I listened to this Saturday. Yeah, this is really freaking good, man. I like the whole thing. Uh, this is not bad. Uh, Tigers of, uh, uh, Pentang. I guess I did. Pentang. Not bad. It's not bad. It's, uh, typical. You know. It's good. It is a good album, so. Now this. Okay, ten years after. Fillmore East, 1970. Holy freaking free holy, man, as Don would say. I used to like Recorded Life. I uh, thought it was a really good album. You know, I liked it a lot. This is their best live album ever. I mean, it's better than anything they've ever done. I mean, the whole band, top form, the sound is incredible. And I'm telling you, extended one uh, on one chord. I've heard it a lot of the live versions of this al that song, but on this album, almost 20 minutes. Holy, Alvin Lee was stupendous in this album. I just fell in love. This just may be. Maybe, depends on the day, I guess. My favorite 10 years after album. I'm, I'm serious. I mean, I, I love rock and roll music to the world, but this just. It. That pretty close to number one for me. All right. Oh, God. Oh, I got so many things on me, it's hurting, man. It's not even funny. My eyes are going bad, and I'm, I get ringing in my ears. Ears start ringing, I say, answer the phone, answer the phone. We don't have a phone that rings, okay. All right. <coughs> Some of these are doubles. Some are not. Some are new to me. Some are old to me. And some probably sound like snot. <laughs> oh, boy. I used to be a writer. I used to write poetry. Anyway, that's another story for another time. Oh, fuck. Uh, R.E.O. Speedway, -E Speedwagon riding Storm Out, an original cassette. 
1973, Michael Murphy, not the one with the wildfire, you know, song about the horse. He's the little man with the there, the little red-headed dude. Good album, really good album. Not as good as REO 2, but better than the rest of the albums with Kevin Cronin. And you know my thoughts on Kevin Cronin. I shall not go into that, okay? Just my opinion. But yeah, it's a really good album. You know, it's got Brighton Storm out. Uh, moving, uh, Son of a Poor Man. Pretty great album. Uh, the Vaughn Brothers. I used to have this in cassette, I believe. Yes, I did. Stephen Ray Vaughn and his brother, Jimmy. Really good album. Not your typical Stephen Ray Vaughn or Fabulous Thunderbirds album. Uh, but it is Stephen Ray Vaughn and his brother, Jimmy. And it's really good. They had a hit on here called TikTok, which was a big hit when it was released back in 1990. Uh, and a telephone song, too, if I'm not mistaken. Um, uh, uh, DFY, Dallas Fort Worth. It's a good tune. It's, it's, it's an all a good album, man. It really is. And I get the hype sticker. That's pretty cool. Uh, this is a remastered repressing of. Uh, Curious Feeling by Tony Banks. This is a 2009. Uh, it originally was released in 1979. Um, I like Tony Banks. Um, you know, he, he was the keyboardist for Genesis, or he is the keyboardist for Genesis, or was, or whatever. Um, and I like him, but I have seen certain interviews with him um, mainly when he's talking about Peter Gabriel and he gets kind of nasty you know he's right yeah. and he's not really really nice and I'm not it's kind of like a like hate relationship <laughs> with me and Tony Banks just a personal thing uh, really good comp. Hard rocking hits, man. Rhino Records. Uh, get ready. You know, for Earth. Uh, I'm just a singing in a rock and roll band. Woody Blues. Let It Ride. Um, BTO. Summertime Blues. Blue Cheer. House of the Rising Sun. By Frigid Pink, which I think, in my opinion, it's the best version. I like, not, you know, I like Eric Burden's version, you know, the animal's version. I love it. But Frigid Pink, it doesn't get any better and heavier than that. I know I'm losing you, Rod Stewart, um, with faces. Or is it just Rod Stewart? I don't think it's just faces. Well, it's Rod Stewart with faces. Um, shootout at the Fantasy Factory. Traffic, of course. Uh, rock and Roll Fantasy, The, the Kinks, uh, Tell Mama, if you don't know who that is, then you're in the wrong channel, say what Brown, uh, oh, 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 um, Ramblin' Man, Mom and Brothers, I Keep On Smiling, Wet Willie, uh, There Goes Another Love Song, Orleans, good to Look At Yourself, The Heap, Question, Woody Blues, and Carnival, number nine, first. Oh, Impressions, parts one and two, ELP. Pretty good. I listened to this a while ago, too. You've got a nice little book of this, there's ELP right there. That era of ELP, I, I think, is the best. I mean, I like their earlier stuff, but brain cell surgery. It rocks. Uh, the best of Santa. Is that Santa? Santana, Volume Two. Uh, this has a live version of Black Magic Woman on it. And it's got. Uh, 
uh, Persuasion, Black Magic Woman, Gypsy Queen Live, Incident, uh, Hope You're Feeling Better, which I have to love a lot. Nobody ever talks about that. Uh, everything's going, uh, coming your way. We're all right. Uh, peace on Earth, Mother Earth. I don't have running one. I just saw that for. Yeah, this is all from Rizzo, so. And this ain't kind of messed up here. Warren Zevon. Life will kill you. Man, it's gone too soon. I love Warren Zevon. And I didn't know I had this. I thought I, I, thought I did. I checked my um, Discogs when I, when I found it. It said that I didn't have it. Well, I got it home and I logged it in and I had the freaking thing, so I get another copy. Not bad for a white guy, huh? Oh, that's the name. Pretty fly for a white guy. <laughs> I was close. That's the thing I say all the time. Not bad for a white guy. Yes, it's racist, but it's racist against my... Oh, shit. It's racist against my own race, so... That's okay. There we go. Does that mean I'm racist against whites? How can that be? I don't know. I'm just fucking around. I'm trying to feel better, man. I really am. I feel like crawling in a hole and covering myself up and just staying there. Uh, oh, this is the bag I got the other day. Won't be long, man. Won't be long. That's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, this is a fiber. It's not bad shape. That to you. Be totally honest. I kind of lost. Ooh. Lost interest in the stones after uh, some girls. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's some girls is all right. There's some good tracks on it. This has got a good track on it. This is, uh, you know, it's got Start Me Up, which they sold to Microsoft. Remember that? I do. <coughs> and waiting for a friend, which is one of the weirdest. Stone's uh, videos, but yeah, it's not bad, you know, maybe it's just me, I don't know, uh, from 1966, but this is a re uh, repressing, um, Richie Haven's Big Bag, now he had a couple of Robbie Shankers, old Robbie Shankers. But man, I'm telling you, they were so beat up. Uh, I, 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 I couldn't do it. You know, I couldn't, you know, maybe for a buck, maybe for 50 cents, I, I couldn't do it. <coughs> uh, um, this is a great album. I already got a copy of this, but I had to dig for a couple of these things. Uh, Tommy Bolin with James Gang. Bang. Great freaking album. I mean, this is a great, 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 great album. Uh, Standing in the Rain, The Devil is Singing Our Song, Must Be Love, Alexis, Ride the Wind, Get No Time for Trouble, Rather Be Alone with You, From Another Time and Mystery. I'm telling you, this is a classic album. You have, if, if you have, if you have, if you haven't got this, I urge you, okay, to seek this out. This is, he might have been heavily into drugs at the time, Mr. Bowen, but I'm telling you, this is a great album. This, the best thing that they, James Gang did since the debut, I think. 
at least close to it. You know, when Joel was at his peak with the band. It's a great album. You know, Joel Walsh. Yes, before the Eagles. All you youngsters out there, yeah. Joel Walsh was in a band called The James Gang. Yes, he was. Uh, I got this because this was on uh, Charisma. I have it, but the one that I have, I think, is on Adco. Genesis. Selling England by the pound. Oop, there you go. Yeah, it's messed up here and there. But it's got the Mad Hatter. Charisma. I always thought it was cool. Plus... It has the original insert. And for 50 cents, you know. A little dirty, a little wrinkly. I don't think there's a scuff on this. At least I hope not. Yeah, it actually looks pretty good, huh? And yes, I checked that before I got it. because I don't do it all the time. That's all I got today. I didn't get a whole lot. Um, oh. oh, I guess I got to say hi to the blockheads. <laughs> Mark and Smoke. You want to be called by that name now. <laughs> Mark and Smoke are called blockheads. Okay. Uh, who else got it? Oh, um, you talk connection, Kurt. Kent, excuse me. I'm sorry, man. Shoot me. I'm gonna have uh, a um, link down below. I'm sorry, I'm not really with it today. I'm gonna have a link down below for Kent's channel. Okay. This guy's got like maybe 30 subscribers. Which is not right, because this guy is great, man. I, I love, you know, there's there's certain people that I watch, you know, um, almost religiously, you know. When they have a video up, I'm, in, I'm there, I'm watching. And there's other guys that I'll get there eventually, you know, because I've got what, a thing going on that's called life. I'm trying to keep doing that but but I'm gonna have a link down below so you can go and subscribe to this dude man uh, kind of you know pretty much a similar taste in mine uh, there is differences which is like you know like to see the, the spice of life variety and he's really a, he's a cool dude you know uh, it's a Utah connection, vinyl connection. I think it's what you called it. I'm, you know, my head's not the best. Uh, but I got a link down below to him. Uh, and I want to send out condolences uh, to Bill Young's family uh, on his passing uh, this past Friday uh, from, uh, from cancer. My heart goes out to you people. I, I I know what you're going through. I know exactly what you're going through. Um, and, and it's it's rough. And it takes a little time. And I'm still going through it right now, so. Um, you just got to pull together, man, you know. Uh, if anybody uh, that's friends, really good friends with Bill, uh, needs to talk to somebody about it. Uh, I've got my link, my uh, link, my email below. You can email me. I don't care. Um, um, well, you know, you can vent with me. You know, and I'll, I'll talk talk with you. And I might even need some help too. So, 
Um, I want, you know, and that's about it, I think. Um, I'll come back next time I get new stuff or if I want to do something, I have no idea. Uh, everything's a day to day for me now, so. Well, Don, thanks for your words of encouragement. It was actually worth it now. <laughs> I tell you, Don and his family, man, they're, they're kind of like a second family anymore, so. Uh, we might do it via the internet, but good people, man. Really good people. And what you see on Don's channel is pretty much what you get, man. He's a good dude. Um, that's about it. I'm sorry. Um, but I'm Stoner. My wife Susie and Harry, and you know the rest of the crap. I can't leave Moose out, man. Moose is just too cute. Everybody else. Yeah. I'll see you next time, man. Um, and take care of yourselves out there, okay? All right. Peace. See you, Topper, Rick. Take care of yourselves, brothers.